Hi, you guys. If you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious pork chops with apples and caramelized onions, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is prep our pork chops here. These are boneless and they're also butterflied. I'm going to go ahead and just cut them down the middle into four servings. All right, so now we're gonna season our pork chops up with some salt, some pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, some smoked paprika, and I'm also using a Mediterranean blend that has marjoram, oregano, thyme, rosemary, basil, and sage, some yummy, yummy spices in it. So we're gonna season these pork chops liberally on both sides. Moving over to the stove, I have my cast iron skillet here that's really hot. About a tablespoon or two of vegetable oil, putting the pork chops in, cooking them for maybe two to three minutes on both sides. We're not cooking them all the way through um, because they're going to finish cooking when we create our gravy, okay? So after they are seared on both sides, we're going to go ahead and remove them from our pan and create our gravy. So I have about... I don't know, three tablespoons-ish <laughs> of butter, putting that down, let that melt, and then we're gonna put in one small onion that were thinly sliced. And I like to cook my onions down for a good five minutes or so until they're nice and caramelized like that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my apples. I'm using two gala apples. I'm gonna go ahead and add that into the pan, give them a good toss, just like so. Next, I'm adding in one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, and I'm gonna give this another good toss for about a minute or so until we cook that flour out before we add in the liquid. All right, so I'm slowly adding in two cups of water. If you wanted to use some type of stock um, at this point, you can definitely do that. But I'm adding water here and I'm slowly pouring it in and stirring, making sure I get all those yummy bits at the bottom. And now I'm going to go ahead and season our gravy up with the same seasonings that we used on our pork chops. With the addition of some chicken bouillon powder. So now we're going to go ahead and give this another good stir and then add our pork chops back into the pan. I'm gonna to top the pork chops with some fresh thyme. Go ahead and put the lid on and let this simmer for a good 20 to 25 minutes. Doesn't that look good, you guys? <laughs> that looks absolutely delicious and it tasted even better than it looks. Speaking of tasting, you guys know I have to taste my food before serving it to others. So I tasted it to make sure my gravy was on point and it definitely was. I wanted it to be a tad bit more thicker so I created a slurry, which is equal parts water and cornstarch. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in, give it a good stir and serve me up a portion. And that is it, you guys. My easy and delicious pork chops with apples and caramelized onions, y'all. This meal is absolutely delicious. One of my husband's favorites, by the way. We don't eat a lot of pork chops, maybe twice a year if that but whenever i do cook pork chops this is the go-to y'all it is so delicious the apples complement the pork chops so well the caramelized onions are absolutely delicious the gravy is just unctuous and flavorful it is 
so good you guys i hope you give this recipe a try and i hope you love it just as much as we did i thank you guys so so much for clicking and watching as always if you did enjoy this video please make sure you give me a thumbs up and even share it with a friend i love y'all and i will see y'all on the next one until then bye